the increasing number of the non-functional solar street light in the street of Gulu City is now a disservice to the city as it is facilitating crime and increasing the number of road accidents in the city center, mostly during night time. Phase one started in 2013, 2014. There we installed 199 solars, of which at the moment 130 are working, 69 are not working. Then the second phase was in 2013, 2014, where we installed 154 solar in total, of which six are working, 148 are not working. Most of the street solar light, which was installed under USMIT project in Gulu City, is now not functioning. Luquia Christopher, the assistant engineer in charge of electricity in Gulu City, attributes this to a number of factors, including vandalism, damage by speedy car, heavy winds, among others. So the majority of the lamps which are not working depends on the, on the, what? On the age of the batteries. You find that those first one. In the first phase, second phase, mostly uh, because of their batteries that need to be replaced. Emmanuel Chen, the chairman Gulu West City Border Border Association, says non-functional solar street light in Gulu City means more risk to border border riders and their customers. The criminals use those dark streets to waylay their victims and attack them. Within three months so far, we have lost more than 18 motorcycles which we have received the cases in my office as Gulu City West. Although I'm very sure that there are some of the stolen motorcycles which has been stolen, but we did not receive the cases, they are also there. According to Christopher Nero, the accelerating number of defective solar street light in Gulu City is not only starting the face of the city, but it is also affecting the economy. Near my home, there used to be uh, some of the women who we are doing business at night under these uh, streets, uh, under the light. Now that the light is non-functional, uh, non -functional, they are no longer doing this business because they feel their security are, are not secured. At the moment, many are on the run as Gulu City Authority continues to arrest those who are vandalizing the solar street light. We arrested about 14 suspects, they are in our custody and then also recovered about 24 uh, solar panels. But still, many are still missing. And I know out there, people are there who know this information that where the solars are, because uh, all this operation was coming to land. Alfred Okwa, mayor Gulu City Council, also revealed that the city authority is investigating some of their staff who is alleged to be involved in the Gulu Main Market Light Saga. Uh, we have also made that investigation should be done. Those who are collecting the rumors and the allegations that has been given to, uh, to our staff, we cannot dispute it and we cannot take it as the facts, but we have left to the town clerk to do investigation and establish the fact. It is true that our electrician is being bribed by some vendors who put off electricity so that the market becomes dark and they they cause disorder in the market. Innocent Imbisimbwe, Gulu City Town Clerk, says the city has here marked 500 million from this financial year, 2023-2024, to repair this non-functional solar street light in the city. And according to Innocent, this will be replicated in all the subsequent financial year. To repair lights worth 500 million. We believe uh, we are, we, our, our priority road is this, this one, Ring Road. We can first restate Ring Road mm. because we don't have all the money to cover the entire town. Mm. Plus, these are the ones which have been vandalized. We cannot know when they will give them back to us, producing the, the locally regenerated revenues and property tax. It was in 2013 when Gulu City, through USMIT project, got its first bunch of solar street light. And since then, the city has acquired about 1,940 solar street light, and out of which 1,198 of them are non-functional. Stephen Okello for West Nile Television, Nile Cast.